Now let us to understand the lenses law. Let us try to understand how we can apply lenses law to find the direction of the induced EMF. The Faraday's law states that if the magnetic flux linked to a coil changes, then there is an induced EMF in the coil. Using the lenses law, we can find the direction of the induced EMF in the coil. According to the lenses law, the direction of the induced EMF would be such that it will, it will oppose the cause that is producing it. That is, the induced EMF will oppose the change in the magnetic flux. Let us understand by an example. Let us have a coil on the plane of the board as shown in the figure 1. Let us imagine that we have a magnet held in front of the coil with its north pole facing the coil. The magnetic lines would be going through the coil as the magnetic line starts at the north pole and ends at the south pole. Therefore, they would be inwards and we can represent them by crosses. So long the magnet is static, the flux would be constant and there would be no induced EMF. Now we bring the magnet closer. The field will increase which in other words the number of lines passing through the coil would be larger. This is shown in the figure 2. Now there would be an induced EMF which will last as long as the flux is changing. The direction of the induced EMF would be such as to neutralize the increase in the magnetic field. Therefore, the induced EMF or the current should be in such a direction that would produce magnetic field that will be outward from the board. Apply the right hand rule. If I place my right hand over the coil, the fingers along the current, the thumb gives the direction of the magnetic field. This would give us the direction of the current as shown by the arrow. Now let us imagine that the magnet crosses the coil and is receding with its south pole facing the coil. The magnetic lines would again go into the board. When the magnet is closed, uh, when the magnet is close to the coil, the density of the lines would be high. As I have shown in figure 3, when the magnet is taken further away, its lines would be less dense as I have shown in figure 4. Now the induced current would be such that it retains the flux density as that of figure 3. Therefore the induced current would be as shown. Because this current will produce a magnetic field lines that will be crosses.
that will try to retain the situation of figure 3. So this way we can apply the lenses law in order to find the direction of the induced EMF in a coil. Thank you for watching. And if you have any queries, you can contact me at the following email address Dr. Atish Mozumdar at the rate gmail.com.